Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. John has sent me this massive, massive box. It's actually almost bigger than me and it's really heavy. I'm gonna have a look at what's inside and select some things to make a taste test. Oops, I'm gonna punch myself in the face. This is really cool. It's an American wind chime. I really love wind chimes. I've got a few of them around my place. How cute's this? Thank you. What's that? <gasps> Chocolate peanut brittle. He made this himself. There's even something in here for my cats. There's a quick sneak peek in the box. Let's select some things and do an American taste test. The first thing I want to try is, of course, John's homemade peanut brittle. John, you know I love peanut brittle so much. Got it. Wow, I've never actually had a chocolate peanut brittle. Nah, so what are you doing? I make this full time and sell it. <laughs> it's really yummy. Mmm, that's better than anything you can buy in the shop. Send me the recipe, please. It's super crunchy, just how you like peanut brittle to be, and there's heaps of nuts in it. I love this so much, thank you. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> On to the next thing, which is this. It's a combos flavor, but it says seven layer dip baked tortilla. Seven layers. I, how do they get seven layers in that? I don't know. I hope it's going to have all the flavors that are on this cover. Have a look in there. Mmm, little beautiful nuggets. You ready for it? Bing! Ah. It's got a little tiny bit of spice in there, which is nice. I can predominantly taste a cheesy flavor to it. it. Tastes like corn chips and spices and cheese all rolled into one. You'd say that there's seven layers in there, really. Very nice. So if you like those flavors in a crispy snack, you're gonna love these. Nabisco chicken in a biscuit. Years ago, they used to have an ad campaign for chicken in a biscuit, and it's stayed with me ever since. Chicken in a biscuit. It's haunted me for life, really. Cute little chicken on it to make it look more palatable. It's good that they've put the picture of the animal that you're about to snack on, on it. Create some fun at snack time. You can use that with Easy Cheese. I wouldn't because I've had Easy Cheese before. I wasn't a fan. They put it with some strange things. You can have it with milk and grapes and an apple. I'd never do that. <laughs> Would you do that? Who came up with that marketing campaign? That Easy Cheese in a can is actually made by Nabisco as well. Whoa! Oh, I need scissors. All right, I'm gonna get a whole one out to show you. Mmm, oh, I can feel like a salty residue, and I like that. <laughs> I do. The saltier, the better, you know me. Oh, I like it. Mmm! Oh, they're so salty. Mmm, mmm. It tastes a bit like it's got chicken salt on it, which is very popular here. When you're here in the shop and you get your chips or your french fries, they ask if you want regular salt or chicken salt. It's very popular here and I don't know if it is overseas. And the chicken salt, oddly enough, actually consists of no chicken. I don't know how they make it really, but yeah, I love chicken salt. But this is what it tastes like a little bit to me. Lots of flavour and it's really, really salty. Love it. That's delicious. If you look at the ingredients, does it say chicken? I can't see anything in there that says chicken. Who knows? Either way, really delicious flavor. Love these. Mm. Next up, I have two different flavored M&Ms. This one here is Thai coconut. What makes a coconut Thai and one not? I don't know where it's from. Thai coconut peanut. I like peanuts, I like coconut. I'm hoping these are gonna have a really nice tropical taste to them. Have a look at the colors of them. Oh yeah, oh that's pretty as. By the way, you can vote for your favorite flavor online. I don't know what you get from it, you just get to vote. Mm, I don't mind that. It just basically tastes like coconut, chocolate, peanut, and a crispy shell on the outside of it. Why Thai? I don't know, but I guess because it makes it sound more exotic. It makes you want it more. Oh, there's, a bit, there's bits of coconut in there. What a surprise. I don't know if you can see that, but there's little tiny, tiny, tiny pieces of coconut in there. Am I imagining that? Maybe. The flavor of this is pretty good. I don't know if I'd get these over other M&Ms, but it's still pretty nice, something different. Hey, I thought M&Ms weren't supposed to stay in your hand. <laughs> But next up, I'm gonna try these ones, which I'm really excited about. Mexican jalapeno M&Ms. So these ones are peanut as well. There's an M&M with a sombrero on him. Oh, 
Oh, the colors of Mexico. Very pretty. Chocolate, peanut, candy. Oh, hello. <laughs> it hits you afterwards. Mm. Oh, I like that. It's an unexpected attack on your taste buds afterwards and I really like it too. They're really quite spicy. Very nice. Who would have thought that jalapeno and chocolate would work but it does. My vote out of these two flavors would be jalapeno. Ho ho ho. It just keeps going. <laughs> We're continuing on with the jalapeno flavor because I've got this thing here. Jalapeno smoky meat snack stick. Not a big fan of meat snacks but this one is jalapeno so this might be different. I might like this. This is from Great Lakes by the way. It's smoked meat. How do you open it? Are you supposed to be able to open it without scissors? I can't. Okay, I got it. Oh goodness me. <laughs> oh, it feels, oh, it's a bit oily. I don't think you want me to bring the whole thing out of the packet, do you? That's pretty good. Mm, don't mind this. Mm, mm. Oh, it's hot. Woo. Oh, wow. Wow. See, I like salamis, I really do. I quite like the spicy chili ones. This one is nice because it's like, oh, hello hot. It's very salty and it's got that beautiful spicy jalapeno flavor all the way through it. It's pretty dang hot though, I'll tell you what. Whew. Speaking of fire and hot things, oh, Hell's Kitchen Dark Roast Coffee. It's good, it's got a little fluffy hole so you can whip it. Well, that smells good. You like the imagery on that? Got a pitchfork on it and flames. Inspired by the hit TV series. I've only seen it a couple of times. I've seen, of course, Gordon Ramsay. Little cranky fella he is. He's got her face like a bent tennis shoe. He gets a job done, doesn't he? I'm just gonna quickly make a coffee and come back and try it. So here it is, my Hell's Kitchen coffee. Cheers. Mm -mm. Oh. It's lovely and strong and robust. I really like the flavor of it. Quite smooth, I like it. Mm. I am a little bit of a coffee freak and I love a nice dark roasted coffee and this certainly does hit the spot. Very nice. I don't know if I'd necessarily want to go to Hell's Kitchen ever. I'd be terrified if there was someone swearing their head off in the kitchen. I'd do that myself but I don't want other people to do it. <laughs> no I don't. I don't really. I'm very calm when I'm in the kitchen. I'm very in control actually because you would think I wouldn't be and you'd be thinking I'd be dropping things and cutting my finger but I don't. I'm very calm in the kitchen surprisingly. I under the pump, I'm good. More hot and spicy stuff. This one's from Mancheros and it's hot and spicy pepitas. Semillas de cab calabaz con chile. Bolsa gigante, a big bag. That's about the extent of my Spanish. Yo hablo un poco español. Look at them, they're different colors in there. Why would that be? I do not know. I don't really like them. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think for me, I can taste chili in there, but they're not that salty. They're very plain tasting. I don't know. I have a feeling that these would be, oh, they got some heat afterwards. I have a feeling that these would be quite good for you. Good alternative to probably say a peanut because they're not as oily or something. Nice hit of spice in there. I do like that aspect of it. Not that salty. I mean, they're all right. If you like spicy and you love pepitas, well then you're probably gonna love these. If I am saying that wrong, pepitas, someone will correct me, I'm sure. They're just okay, these ones. Next up for something really odd. John has a knack of finding me the unique and he's certainly done that today with this charms fluffy stuff it's bacon cotton candy i don't know why the pig's so happy that's flavored with you mate it's fat free how can it be fat free if it's bacon flavored peanut free gluten free i'm really um, apprehensive about this one i do like fairy floss though what do you call it again cotton candy sorry it smells like cotton candy fairy floss that a pig has been lying in. But it's lovely in pink, which is nice. Um, oh, isn't that beautiful and magical? Oh! <laughs> I'm so torn. I 
I like it and I don't. You know, at first it's like, oh, lovely, sweet cotton candy, yum yum. Dissolves in your mouth just like magic because it's all whipped up sugar. But, but then you can taste pig on the back of your palate. It's like... I mean, I want to go back for more though, so I think I might like it. I'm surprised. I don't know exactly why they've done this. Some Americans just think we can put pig in everything. Uh, you certainly can. Really bizarre, but it's actually not as bad as it seems. There's only a slight after piggy taste to it, but it's still sweet enough that it's nice. Like if no one said that this has bacon in it, you'd go, What's going on? I don't remember cuddling a pig. Thank you so much, John. I really do appreciate you selecting all of these amazing stuff. And you know what I love the most out of this taste test? The homemade peanut brittle. Amazing. If everyone in the comments below could thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. If you want to support me and my channel, please remember to share this video, subscribe, make sure you turn the notifications bell on, and give it the thumbs up. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. When I'm doing my sign-off gestures, I suddenly don't know what to do with my hands. Get a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know. Like I was suddenly giving my hands yesterday.